What's going on, y'all? Hey, if you watched our video on the Mark III uh, S-Series keyboard uh, from Native Instruments, you knew that I had a little bit of struggle uh, integrating that in with Studio One, uh, which is my doll of choice. So today we're gonna cover on how to set that up. Hey, don't go anywhere, we're gonna get right into it. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ray with Second Chance Rise, and this is the channel that's not just about our music or our ministry, but it's also about how-to videos and gear reviews, recording tips, and today we're talking about setting up the new S-Series Mark III keyboard and integrating that into S1. I had uh, quite a bit of time, took me quite a bit of time, I finally got into a... Uh, uh, Sweetwater support and the gentleman was able to uh, get me started. So let me show you what we got to do here um, Just get into you. I usually just click on this 48 Hertz symbol down here and go into preferences You can get get to that in several different ways You see I've got two of them loaded up here now I watched uh, two or three different videos on YouTube probably like you're uh, doing now and they had both people had done it differently and it was not working for me um, so I don't know if it was uh, the videos were two or three years old So I don't know if it was an older uh, Older versions that worked differently or what but this is the way uh, right now. It's currently working So what you would normally do is is you want to add a keyboard you would go to um, native instruments here and the first one that I chose uh, Is the complete control s right here? Okay, that's the first one. And I'm going to tell you, you're going to have to set up two, and that's what was throwing me. So I'm going to show you what I did here. So in that S1, you have to select on the uh, drop-down menu, select Control S61 MK3 Main. You want to select the main one. Now, if you've got the 49 key version, obviously it'll be the 49 key version or the 88 version. But you want to select the main one here uh, for your re you're receiving your signal from and your send to, and then hit OK. And then that is going to control uh, your browser. It's going to control your um, all your programs from uh, from Native Instruments, and some of the other ones that uh, from con from Contact uh, that aren't included in that also work in that. Now I could not get my DAW functions to work as far as the hitting the play, hitting the record, adjusting the volume, and things like that. So you actually have to set up a second instrument for that. Who knew? Thought if you just set up the keyboard, that was it. And on this one, you want to go to, um, you want to do the same thing, go to the same place, add that. But, but here instead, you want to select the Control uh, S61 uh, Mark III DAW on as far as you're receiving and your send to. And then that will give you where you can hit the play button, the record button, the stop button. Um, and so forth and so on. Uh, you can control your volumes. You can control your reverb and your sins. You can map some other things out into that. So I hope that that's been helpful for you. If you've been struggling with that, if you're a Studio One user and have picked up the Mark III keyboard, man, I struggled with that for a little about over an hour and a half trying to do it myself, watching some YouTube videos like you were doing, finally got some help. So I hope this helps you. Hey, if it has, make sure that you hit that like button. If you want to see a beginner like me learn and nav begin to navigate this keyboard, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be probably doing a few videos from here to there. Uh, as I learn this keyboard and how I'm going to integrate that into with my software and use it in production. Hey, we love you and God loves you. Keep looking up. We'll see you next time.